and welcome to Funky Kid. This is a live stream uh, right here at Funky Kid Studios. I'm Winston. And uh, yeah, so as the title says, we have a new test rig. Today we got uh, ourselves one of these. It's the uh, Intel Core i5 uh, Sky or KB Lake X. Uh, this is the uh, 7640X. So um, it's the LGA 2066. And uh, this will go into this. Yes, uh, just arrived is the ASRock X299 Tai Chi. This motherboard rocks apparently. So uh, thanks ASRock and we'll be actually putting this into here, which is right now there. Yeah, so um, let me tell you a little bit about this board. It's a, a very nice board. Uh, comes with a ton of features. So let me uh, show you. Okay, it has uh, the uh, Intel Wi-Fi, actually built-in Wi-Fi, with the dual LAN, okay? And it has, uh, uh, like, you know, the Optane, Intel Optane. Um, there's the Ultra M.2, there's three of them. Uh, it's got RGB ready, and uh, it's, it's got the eight-layer PCB. DDR4 up to 4600, apparently. So yeah, this board is very, very good. Uh, it's just been released on the market, so uh, we're gonna be giving it a good test with our processor. Um, so this will be our new test rig. You can see right here now, we have, uh, luckily, our Cooler Master, uh, uh, Master Liquid Air Cooler, the all-in-one 240, uh, has fittings for the 2066, in fact, it's uh, similar fittings to the 2011, 2011, yeah, 2011 V3. So um, as long as you have a cooler which is uh, already for the 2011 V3, then it will fit. As you can see, Cooler Master all in one, all already in there with the um, Zotac graphics card. So this is the Zotac graphics card uh, from the live stream uh, yesterday. So this is the GTX 1080. And then we have the, uh, uh, G skill Trident Z 3200 DDR4 3200. So we're gonna give it a blast later on and see how this test rig will, uh, you know, perform. And, and uh, we'll be basing our results on this. This is be our main test rig. So uh, yeah, it's got everything in, installed, all ready to go. And uh, let me just put this down a little bit and uh, go through some of this stuff that we have. Um, so uh, I mentioned earlier, this is the Core i5. Uh, KB Lake X 2066 so uh, a little bit peed off actually um, knowing that uh, later on the Coffee Lake which would be released later on uh, probably uh, Q4 um, so this one the Coffee Lake is the next one from you know, the next upgrade and that will include apparently four cores eight thread on, on the i5 so that'd be very interesting because all currently Core i5 are only four cores, no th multi-threading, so it's only four cores. So the i7 then will become the uh, four cores and eight threads. Uh, but the Coffee Lake actually beef up that, so so it's the next generation. And now we'll use probably the maybe the Z370 or something like that. So we'll see, we'll see. But right now, um, X299 is the is the main board that people go for for enthusiasts and gamers. Um, uh, apparently, this this is a very good old clocker, so we'll see. Um, this whole setup is uh, ready to go. Um, we've you know we've actually tried to do the BIOS. I think we need to update BIOS on this one, so we'll, we'll see. But so far, everything looks good. Uh, I do like the, uh, the the options for the uh, the Ultra M.2 which uh, gives you the extra um, you know, uh, features and options for, for, uh, for SSDs, the yeah, M.2 SSDs uh, and uh, PCIe. And, and also what I've noticed is uh, it comes with everything, USB-C, Thunderbolt, um, and if you can see right here, you can see there's the Wi-Fi antenna connector there. So uh, out of the box, is, is a, is from the specs, it's amazing, yeah. So, um, just give you a couple of more information on this. It has this thing called a hyper block, uh, you know, base clock uh, engine three. Uh, so that'll give you uh, 
uh, range of frequencies and um, precise clock waveforms. So it's, it's for overclocking. And then um, it has 13 phase uh, power and uh, what they call Dr. Moss. It's, it's Dr. Moss design features the latest SPS, Smart Power Stage technology. So basically uh, those VRMs and, and uh, the MOSFETs give you uh, 13 phases. So, so it gives you more stability on the, on the power for the motherboard. Um, there's a button there called the flashback, BIOS flashback. Let me just check. Hmm, I can't see that. Oh, right there, yeah. BIOS flashback. So that'll give um, uh, for you overclockers uh, a quick uh, press of the button. It'll give you the, the kind of BIOS revert back to the original state. So that's all good. Um, then obviously you have the, uh, the audio, the HD audio 7.1 and uh, it's got some decent uh, capacitors to go with that too. So this will support not only SLI, but Crossfire, three-way Crossfire and then obviously try SLI uh, with the setup. You, you can only run that if you have the higher processors, the, uh, you know, the 60, uh, 70, 800. Yeah, the 7800X, uh, okay, and or higher. Uh, that'll give you more bus lanes, PCIe bus lanes. So, so that'll give you more options and for uh, the tri SLI and and, uh, and the uh, uh, Crossfire. So, all in all, um, I'm very pleased with the setup. So, this is our test rig. Again, with the uh, Tai Chi, the Asrock uh, X299 Tai Chi, and obviously our. Uh, KB Lake X uh, 7640X processor on the 2066 uh, LGA uh, pin out there. So, uh, and luckily our 2111 uh, cooler, the AIO from Cooler Master works great with that. And then uh, we've got the Triton Z uh, DDR4 3200. Uh, that'll give us some nice speeds. And then uh, we have the, uh, the Zoltac GeForce GTX 1080. I think that's it for today, live stream. Um, check out our videos again uh, we've got tons of videos we've got loads of uh, events that we covered and uh, we'll be doing the uh, um, the unboxing videos of the X299 Tai Chi the ASRock as well as um, the uh, drones from DJI and uh, yeah we've got tons of content on, on our website go and check it out read the reviews and subscribe to our channel and if you can you can support us on the patreon as well so Thanks guys for watching and until the next live stream, this is Winston for Funky Kit. Atchia.